Hello, my name is Peter, and thank you so much for checking out this walkthrough on how to get started with the new version of Cube Promote. We've totally rewritten all of our apps from the ground up, and we've got some exciting new features and cool techniques and tricks to show you. After signing up for a Cube Promote account, you'll be taken to this screen. This is our setup wizard, and it'll help you get up and running with Cube Promote really easily. During the setup wizard, we'll be asked some questions, and all we have to do is answer them. So, let's get set up. We can begin by clicking Next. First question, how will I be using Promote? If I'm joining a team that's already on Promote, I can join the team by clicking My Team is on Promote and filling out the team invite code. I can also create a new team by following these instructions here. But for now, it's just me. So, I'm going to click It's Just Me. Next, we need to add a new site. So this is the URL of the site that we're going to be looking to promote. You need at least one site to use Cube Promote. So, I'm going to import the Cube blog. I can enter in q.co slash blog. If you know the RSS feed for your site, specify it here and we'll go there to target your website. If you don't know if you have an RSS feed or not, you can just put the URL of the site in, no problem. Once I'm ready, I'm going to click create site. Cupromote will now go out to the website and fetch some information about it and start importing articles. And just like that, everything's been sorted for me. My account is ready to go and all I have to do is head to the dashboard. The dashboard is your one-stop shop for a general overview of how your whole account is doing. All of your promotions, how many social shares backlinks you've got, how many clicks, how many sites you're running, as well as performance over time. We can filter this down to other sites by clicking the All Sites drop down and changing it to the site in question. Heading into the Promote section, you'll see that we've already begun importing the articles into Cube Promote. You can see here that it's just downloading the open graph images here onto the dashboard and you can just watch this happen. Really nice, really easy to follow, just like so. We have a lovely set of filters at the top, so you can toggle between showing all of your sites or just a specific one. For example, just the key blog. You can sort between what's in your feed, what's live, what's rejected, and what's expired. And now you can sort promotions really easily just by clicking this drop down here. We can choose between what's been imported most recently to the oldest what's got the most clicks, and what has the most shares. We've totally re-engineered our settings page as well. You can see by going into settings, we're taken to your promotion settings. And here you could change between manual mode and semi-automatic and fully automatic if you're on a relevant plan. You can also create and import new sites as well. And just like that, I've created another site. You can see all of the sites I have on my account listed below here. So I have the cube blog and another blog called 9to5Mac. And again, once I've created it, I can go into promote and I could toggle between just the cube blog, just 9 to 5 Mac or all sites, just like that. We can dive into settings as well for the sites just by clicking them on the table. So for the cube blog, I can click into it and I can change the name, the site URL, and as well as define a Twitter handle. We use Twitter handles to notify you on Twitter if someone has shared your content automatically. So in this instance, I'm gonna specify Cuco as the Twitter handle. I hit save changes and great, that's been applied. Same goes for 9 to 5 Mac. There we go, all formatted and ready to go. For this next bit, I've updated my account to an automatic plan. And you can see that it will unlock the semi-automatic mode and full automatic mode here. And all we have to do is just click to change the modes. So now I'm on fully automatic mode, our promotions will automatically go out for us. If I choose semi-automatic mode, we could do a one-click promotion process. But for now, I'm going to pick manual mode. When you sign up for a plan, you also have access to Teams. And Teams are a great way of collaborating with other people. So I begin by clicking Get Started and creating a new team. We'll call this Q Team. And I'm going to hit Create Team. And we're going to customize this team. Just like your account, teams need at least one site to run. So here I'm going to import 9to5Mac sister site, 9to5Google. And great, we're all done. As I head into Promote, you'll see that I've got just my team's sites here. And as I flip back and forward in the top right, I can change back to my account, like so, and see all of my sites and promotions. And I can flip back to the Q team, like so, and see just my Q team's sites and promotions. Same goes for the dashboard as well. You can see my statistics here on the Q team. And as I switch back to my account, you could see all the statistics for my account. Once your team's configured, you can invite people to it. So head to the team section in settings, click the list item, and you can define it an image. And there we go. I've just uploaded a random team image here. And we can invite people as well to join the team by clicking the plus button and putting in their email address. If I want to close the team as well, I can do so by clicking delete team. But enough chatter, let's do some 
been promoting. So in the background, while I've been going through Teams, I've let some of the articles uh, import and update their open graph image. You can see that we're really getting through it now and we've uh, got all of our open graph images in here. They're all looking great. So I'm gonna promote some articles here and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on both manual, semi-automatic and full automatic as well. So let's start by clicking this one here. And when we click start promoting, we've got a brand new promotion wizard here. So it's very, very simple and very, very easy to follow. By default, the post category section is highlighted here. And all you have to do is just start typing. So in this instance, I'm going to type Apple. Now, when you are typing for a category, we've got some great power user features in as well. So you can either click the first item here to select it or what you can do is as you start typing it so obviously apple is the first item hit the return key on your keyboard and it will select that first item for you and finally it will tell you what it's going to cost in order to promote it so on this uh, demo account i've loaded myself for some credits just for the point of demonstration and it will use those credits first and you can see it will say it will cost you one of your credits leaving you with 499 remaining so i'm going to click promote yes i'm sure and great, we're done. The promotion removes itself from the dashboard and goes into a review system. So we'll get an answer in the next few minutes whether or not it's been approved or not. And just like that, our promotion has been approved here. And you can see under our active tab here that we've got one promotion active with one click from our reviewer and 90 days remaining on the promotion. Heading into our dashboard here, you can also see that click has started to come through as well as the total up here as well. So really nice and really easy. And again, all we have to do is just rinse and repeat so if i go into the feed section i can just do this again so let's talk about this here the airpods i can just put in apple hit enter scroll down it'll tell us how we're going to pay for this promote it and then just like that it's in review if you pay for an auto promote plan you can easily speed up this workflow so by heading into settings you can select semi-automatic or fully automatic mode i'm going to select semi-automatic we're going to head back into promote and then all we have to do to promote is just as simple as click 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 click. As I click through these promotions, they are sent immediately into the review queue. Really nice, really simple. And this is great if you have a lot of articles to get through. They'll just remove themselves from the dashboard and head themselves into review, no problem. And finally, we can go into fully automatic mode here. And fully automatic mode means that we don't even need to log into queue promote. As new allowances become available, we'll do the promoting for you. So we'll look at your ability to spend um, your uh, credits or your allowance, and we'll start using that up with your sites across the board. So that in a nutshell is how to get started with Q Promote. There is little tips and tricks hidden around and we can be prouder of what we have made. Obviously this is a really big change, a brand new dashboard and a new way of doing things. So we appreciate if you have questions at this time. We're always on hand to help. If you need help at any time, click the intercom button in the corner and search for your problem using the search section. Nine times out of ten we'll already have an answer to your question if it's a common one. So it's worth telling us in your own words what's up. If you can't find an answer to the question after searching for it in our help section, you'll be given the opportunity to chat to us. So don't worry if your question is super unique to your use case. We hope you absolutely love using the new Cube Promote. We've put a lot of time and energy into it. We've been working on this all year and we're so happy with how far it's come. Thank you.